Hi, I'm Mrs. Mason. Welcome to day four of Growing Alligators. Today we're going to make some observations in our science notebook. We're going to measure our gators to see if there are any changes. And then we're gonna talk about how to compare data and see which gator is actually growing the most. On day four of our growing alligators, we can see our kindergarten alligator. And not only is his head starting to stick out of the water, but also his back. And I'm noticing some dry spots on the top of his head. Here's our gator in the colored water and his head is also sticking up out of the water. and then our gator that is covered with the lid. And his head is also sticking up out of the water. So looking at each of our containers, this setup is near a window, so it might be a hot corner of the room. And I think that the container that's been left open, this kindergarten container, it actually has less water in it now than the other two. So open up your science notebook, write down today's date, and record your observations. What do you notice about the gators on day four? On day four, this is our growing alligator in the water with no lid. It is measuring 11 cubes long, which is about 21 and a half centimeters. And next to the alligator in the water, I added the control alligator so that you could see just how much bigger it's gotten from the very first day until day four. It's grown a lot. And this is my data table so far. You'll notice on my data table, I added the actual dates on my table, which is what I want you to do on your data table. You should be entering the actual date. So I started this experiment on August 31st. Today on day four is September 3rd. And so whatever your day of, uh, is, whatever day you are on, go ahead and write that date on your data table. And then on my kindergarten graph, I've graphed my gator. For first grade, this is the growing alligator in colored water. The one in the colored water is measuring 10 and a half snap cubes long, which is about 20 and a half centimeters. And I put it next to the control alligator so that you can see how much bigger it's gotten. I wrote that information in my data table. And for first grade, you'll notice I also added the dates in the date column. So I started this experiment August 31st, and today is September 3rd. So make sure you're writing your date in the date column. And I took the information and colored my graph, and I wrote the dates at the bottom of my graph. For second grade, this is the gator that was in the covered container. And if you're keeping track, it is about 10 and a half cubes, which is 20 and a half centimeters. And you can see what it, how big it is compared to the control gator. 
this is my data for second grade. And again, you'll notice that I added the dates in the date column. So I started this on August 31st, and today is the September 3rd. So be sure you're writing your date in the column. And I did my graph for the covered gator and for the uncovered gator. So let's talk about kindergarten and first grade data for a moment and just see how big our kindergarten gator has grown. If we're looking at our graph, we can see that it has grown one, two, three and a half cubes. So our gator started out as seven and a half cubes and now it's 11 cubes. So it has grown three and a half cubes. Our first grade gator started at seven cubes and now it is 10 and a half cubes long. So on our chart, we can count the squares. It has grown one, two, three and a half cubes long. So when we are comparing our gators, the first grade gator in the colored water has grown three and a half cubes, and the gator in the regular clear water has grown three and a half cubes. For second grade, I want to talk to you about how to compare your data from day one all the way to day four, so that we can find out how many centimeters each gator has actually grown. When we look at our data table quickly, we see that one gator is bigger than the other, so we think that this one has grown more, but actually I want to find out how many centimeters each gator has actually grown. And to do that, I have to do some subtraction. So in my science notebook, I wrote today's date and I labeled this side covered and that side uncovered. On day one, my gator was 13 and a half centimeters and today it was 20 and a half centimeters. So I subtracted and I found out that the covered gator has grown seven centimeters. The gator in the uncovered container, the one that we are also using for kindergarten, today it measured 21 and a half centimeters, and on the first day it was 14 and a half centimeters. So when I subtract those, I found out that the uncovered gator has also grown seven centimeters. So while one gator is actually bigger, it's only changed seven centimeters. So both of the gators have grown the same amount. So go ahead and write that in your notebook. And if you need to pause the video to add that in your science notebook, go right ahead. So at the end of day four, growing alligators, I decided to change the water in each of the tubs. When I was taking the gators out of the liquids to measure them, I noticed that the water was a little cloudy and the gator was starting to get a little slimy. So I rinsed out each container, I rinsed off each gator, and I put in fresh water and fresh food coloring. So this time the gators, all of the tubs have about two inches of water in each of the tubs. When I put them in the first day, we only needed an inch of water to cover them, but today we needed two inches for it to completely cover the gator. Now that we've had a chance to analyze the data in our science notebook, we can really start to see how much the gators have grown. Check back tomorrow and we'll see if there's even more changes.